Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about malingering and compare it to factitious disorders. Malingering is when a patient consciously fakes symptoms to gain a specific secondary gain. The word conscious and specific are very important. For example, if you have a construction worker who is faking back pain to take sick leaves from work. Here we have a patient consciously faking the back pain to gain a specific secondary gain, which is sick leave. In factitious disorders, the patient consciously fakes symptoms to simply play sick with no secondary gains. For example, if a patient fakes abdominal pain to gain sympathy from others. So in this case, the patient consciously fakes the pain and the gain is primary sympathy and not a specific secondary gain like money or living work. To make sure that we understand these examples, let, let's look at this quiz. A nurse frequently attends the ER with her child. When asked about the complaint, she says that her child feels ear pain. A week before, she complained that her child feels abdominal pain. And last month, she came in saying that her child has headache. Note that every time she comes in with her child, she gets condolences and flowers from her co-workers. So which of the following is the right answer? In this case, the patient consciously fakes symptoms and she puts the symptoms on somebody else, her child, with the primary gain is sympathy from her co-workers. So she's displaying features of factitious disorder imposed on others, which is also known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy. If the question says that she keeps coming to the ER to take sick leaves, or maybe to get back at her husband because she is fighting with him or something, in this case it would be malingering. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps and thank you so much for watching.